Well, that looks like his tail. And there's his front legs. I don't know why we're hunting these things. They're way too big. So I think we have breakfast, pack up, go to where there's bison, as many as stars in the sky. They're going to come out on the beach, say, take me, Jim Bachel, take me. Like this far from the water. We kind of figure, Barth, as we go floating down, when we get to the tricky part of the river, just around the corner down here a bit, they're all going to be on the beach waving. <laughs> We're going to go to that pyramid-looking thing. Run all around out on the flats in front of it. Look for large furry beasts. We haven't seen a large furry beast yet. We found poop, we need a beast. This thing is smoking. I think we've got four or five miles to go. We probably got a half hour run. <laughs> Short trips. Alright, I'll see you down there. Our lavender beast. Our lavender beast is awaiting to take us to the bison. <laughs> Where's it at? This land is right on the sea. This is right where the sea goes down. on the ground. <laughs> the epic. He run off. See him? No, we found his tracks. Marcus was too ugly. See other tracks? Lots. There was a pile of them here. Yeah. He was the only one that ran out. Well, we either going to camp right here 
and we were going to put that raft back in the water. And actually, this gives us really good access out along the edge of this slough, right to the middle of what ought to be the bison field. Chambered around, saw a bison. Um, we tracked him, oh, I don't know, quarter mile. He circled back and we let him go, not to push him, because it seems like if it's the same one that Marcus saw earlier today, he's hanging right here, which is third time's a charm. We might bring him down right next to camp. And then we pushed over to the edge of a big opening over there that had a river in it. Uh, Probably not a river, just a slide slough. It was flowing pretty good. Circled, made about three or four circles. Found what looked like green fields for things to feed in. They were beautiful big flats alongside this river in there. And then we found a trail that maybe had 15 bison going north. We followed them in just a little ways and decided to go back in the morning and have our way with them if we don't kill this bull right here in the backyard. It was a good night. I think Mike Marcus and I did about a three mile loop. Raining. It's gonna be nicer weather and I think the weather is supposed to turn and the wind's supposed to switch out of the north, which is gonna be perfect for moving up with those uh, that herd wherever it went. They should be easy to track. They seem to be on a major, major trail down in there. Working at it. Gonna have something to eat, go to bed, get up early, kill bison. This is the plan. Oh, can you grab his? No, you can't. <coughs> Everything in here, huh? Just strip this thing out. All right. Okay, man. 
last night and walked through our tracks. <laughs> this is one day old, been rained in now. Time for Crocs. Take a break for a few minutes. And go back out into this core area where we keep running into the one up close. Maybe explore a little bit further south. I think we probably did six, six miles. We know where the herd of 15 crossed the river and went up, but our wind was absolutely wrong to go after them. And there just seems to be a core small area right in here that's got a herd of bison in it. Just got to keep trying. Wearing them down. You got to wear them down. Eventually they're going to give up. Whew. That's my story. So tomorrow, Marcus and I are going to get up, go find them north. Seems like a plan. Whew, put on the miles today. Uh, let's see, about nine. It's hard to find tall, small batches of animals in an absolutely flat landscape. It's so awesome. It's an awesome landscape, but it's a, the challenge is finding them out here. Need to find him on those big fields that we were in this morning. That's uh, that's where to go set. So we're gonna eat dinner, go to bed, dream of bison, morning bison. Whew. Signing off because I'm turning this off. You're off. This officially makes one week. We're gonna go out and see what we can do this morning. We'll go out to those fields over there and see if those bison are out in there earlier in the morning than what we've been over there. So I think we got about a 45 minute, half hour walk or hour walk over that way. This is before coffee. Really a tough morning. <laughs> I'll have coffee when I come home. The bison.
beautiful habitat. We got some meadows back behind us, we'll check. We're just about to where we came around the corner and the bison kind of split and a bunch of them came this way and a bunch of them went up the other way. The only thing we're lacking is that one who wants to go home with us. <sighs> Beautiful though. A few bugs out. I hate to leave bison to go find bison. And I'm not sure that there's any more anywhere else. It's just a big place. They're big beasts, but they're spread out. All right, let's go have fun. Plan. Plan? Want to take a nap? We're going to take a look at where we've seen everything. Make a decision whether we're going to stay here or move. I'm not sure there's anything that's better someplace else. That's a pretty nice little camp. So we'll have to make our minds up about that. But. Uh, Looks like we might have a few moments of precipitation. Something to lull you into that nice afternoon nap after a brisk walk of, I think we did four, five, six miles, something like that. But he found bison today. There was tracks there yesterday. It may be the kind of thing that you go early in the morning down to that end where you can see a huge part of that river corridor. And be patient. Oh, it's a terrible word to come off your lips. I hate patience. <laughs> just want to shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I don't know. It always seems like it might be better somewhere else when it might not actually be. 